So Vision Learn was started to address a problem that should have been solved a long time ago in America. Somewhere between 10 and 20 percent of kids in low-income communities go to school every day and they can't see the board. So we've designed a system which solves that. We come to the schools. We go into communities where kids can be found every day working hard at schools like Shortridge and provide them the glasses. We go a step further. We work with teachers in the classroom because if one child in the school got glasses today, he or she would probably be four eyes. 35 kids getting glasses, safety in numbers. Let me put the vision challenge in some perspective. The median uncorrected vision for kids we help is 2200. That means, put in some perspective for those of you sitting there, if I held up my hand like this, you couldn't count the fingers of my hand. The stories we've heard, we've helped girls who have walked around school with a handheld magnifying glass, trying to navigate the third grade. Boys, I don't know boys more than girls, come up and they'll talk about how they thought trees were pea pods, because they could see a leaf on their desk. They could see this green blob and couldn't imagine how the leaves and the trees related. They thought you must have to unwrap it and the leaves fall out. Imagine trying to teach that child botany. I too remember coming home to my mom and saying, Mom, there's leaves on trees. And she looked at me and said, what? And I said, you know, leaves on trees. When I was in first grade, how did I draw a tree? Brown line, brown line, green clump. And we lived in the woods. And before I put on my first pair of glasses, I'd never seen a leaf on a tree. I thought a tree was like an artichoke, you know, just a big clump. And the leaves just kind of somehow peel off the outside. I didn't realize they were all independent because I couldn't see. Now, I was fortunate to have a mom who was a teacher and who saw early that I had a challenge and made absolutely sure I got my glasses and I wore my glasses. But did I get picked on for having glasses? Is having glasses really cool? Yes, thank you. Could we hear that again, please, guys? Could you tell me, is having glasses really cool? Yeah. Yes, it is. My school wasn't quite so popular. We've had kids who were misdiagnosed, found themselves in special ed, not because of cognitive issues, because they were just misdiagnosed. Get glasses, move on, join the honor roll. This makes a difference. Now, we'd like to talk about the education outcome We've been working in California on this for a couple of years. We have a body of research which shows grades improve. Give a kid a pair of glasses, they become a learner, they stay in school, they achieve. Uh, I could scare you by talking about statistics and research done in the Texas juvenile detention system. Three quarters of the kids need glasses. So this is a life path. The sooner we can intervene, the sooner we can work in schools, the more kids we can help. At the end of the day, this has all been about you. These pieces of metal and plastic and glass, these little pieces, these glasses that you're about to get are going to change your lives in small but powerful ways. They'll make your path forward clearer. They'll make your vision day in and day out better. And that's not just being able to read the board. It's not just being able to do your homework. It's not just being able to see your mother's or your father's face clear when you come home. It's also, I hope, showing you that we care about you, that all of us want you to do better and to see better. Thank you, Vision to Learn, for helping us to see better. Because of your generous gift, we will now be able to see to read and see to learn. Thank you again for this very important gift of better vision.